Good morning, y'all. So I got an update for my solar troll camera battery packs I made a while back. Uh, that's what they used to look like on the inside. I actually still use them. It's a, it's an updated idea. Uh, just a, it's a little solar panel. It's like a, this is a 12 watt. Got it for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Um, Walmart sells them. Academy sells them. You know, just. Most places locally sell them. Uh, you can also get them on Amazon. Uh, took it apart. Uh, tapped into the wires. Yes, I could have tapped into this one. Uh, made roughly six volts, I guess, instead. Ran it to a buck circuit. Buck is a step down circuit. Stabilized it to five volts. This circuit board can handle I think it's up to 10 volts, but because the solar panel varying That's gonna smoothen it out to steady five um, This also steps up the power from the battery it steps it up to In this situation I need six volts uh, Some other cameras use nine some use 12 and I can use the same circuit and just rotate my little dial right there to whatever I need this one's also got an adjustment screw, a tangiometer right there. And I've got it running to a, sol a lithium protection board. On the other one, in the other box, I ran out of them and didn't use them because this board actually has an over current, uh, over voltage protection. It does not, however, have under voltage protection. So I highly recommend the protection board for the batteries if the gets too low this will cut cut the rest of the circuits out and keep it from destroying the battery uh, and then lithium battery right here as you can see and all fits nicely inside i did have to modify the case you can see where there was a little raised gap right in here i just took some uh, just some pliers was able to clean it up and then a uh, little Dremel tool, and that's a tungsten carbide bit. Oh, focus. Uh, as you can see, a little black from, and I know that it's used for cutting metal. I've used it for ages for cutting metal, um, but it, it worked for a cleanup job. So anyway, I've glued most of these down a little bit with just a little bit of adhesive. I didn't glue this one down because I do not want that adhesive touching circuit components. Um, and I got it running to my plug. Anyway, this should work a lot better. These little boxes work fine. Um, what the heck? Um, these worked fine. During the summer when there's plenty of sun and not in the shade and whatnot, but I'm having a problem uh, We've had a lot of bad weather. It's winter sun's not out as long So I'm gonna give this idea a try. This is gonna cost a lot more than this other one will because uh, The $20 panel versus the case being like a buck and the little panel being like a buck buck fifty But this will also hold up better should hold up a lot better and work even more reliable. Um, I don't know if I really need to explain a whole, whole lot. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Got my solar input going into that buck circuit, into the input side. And it's labeled on the back side, input and output. Uh, I've got the potentiometer set. I think I had it set, it was like 5 volts. It didn't matter as long as it's within spec for this circuit board. Uh, I could adjust it, bring it up a little bit more. Uh, this is set for an output of 6 volt because I'm going to use it for a 6 volt camera. You can see the input and it's even got a little micro USB which you won't be able to use anymore because it's too close. Um, going to the protection board and then I put a plug here so that way I can actually disconnect the battery to solder this stuff up so I don't have live circuits. Highly recommend not soldering with a like a battery or something attached. Uh, it just doesn't even sound like a great idea. Uh, plus, if something lets out the magic blue smoke, I can quickly disconnect the plug and I'm good to go. Um, 
Anyway, hope this helps. Should be nice and clean and work way more reliable, even though it's going to cost a bit more. It'll be a nice smaller package than what I used to do, which is part of the mess, which is this, which this works great, actually, but this cost, oops, um, I mean, you still got $20 or so panel, $5 box, and about a $20 battery and a mess of cables. Um, and this actually still works really well. It's just, I had a lot of truck cameras. Um, and there's another type of panel right there. Oh my God, this carpet. Oh, I'll be vacuuming it today. Um, this panel doesn't have as much room on inside of it. Plus, I can't find this panel anymore. Yes, I have a dog. She's a sweetie. Say hi. Um... Not as much room, and I can't find them anymore. Actually, I love this style because it allowed me to hold, put this up in the tree like this. Oh, my God. And uh, whereas with this style, it would be a little hard to put in the tree. As you can tell, it'd be facing the wrong direction. So then, um, anyway, I digress. Um, so anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, this did work pretty well. I did have problems where after time these clips would break off. I actually have one box where the hinge part actually finally just fell apart altogether, broke off. Uh, I did not expect them to last years and years and years. You can see color fading. Because uh, for a buck, what are you really thinking you're going to get? Um, but it let, did let me, it did get me by for a while. Um, and it was super cheap. This, I do, this, this new design, I do expect to last significantly longer with a lot less problems. Uh, and y'all have a good morning and I will see y'all later. Bye.